Hello and welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology. Um, with this brief lecture, I would like to talk about the anatomy of the long bone. Um, the way that I help myself remember the anatomy of the long bone and the way I learned it in the first place is to draw a picture of a long bone and label it. So let's try this out. This is, I call it my Scooby-Doo bone. Gives you kind of a shape of a bone. Um, outward features, notice at the end of a long bone you'll have a widened area at the end of each of these. Um, these are called epiphyses. To help you remember how to spell it, epiphysis. Epiphysis or epiphysis. If this were the part or the end of the long bone that was closer to the torso, then you would call this the proximal epiphysis. And then this one would be the distal epiphysis. So that's epiphysis. Um, between these two thickened parts, there's a shaft. And sometimes it's a longer shaft, sometimes it's a shorter shaft. That shaft region is called the diaphysis. The diaphysis. So we've got epiphysis, we've got diaphysis. Inside the bone is going to be a long cavity, and in that cavity you will find yellow bone marrow. It can be called the marrow cavity, but historically I've always called it the um, medullary cavity. medullary cavity. If you want to use marrow cavity because it's easier, then go right ahead and it's okay to do that on an exam or whatever. Um, multiple choice though, you might want to have medullary cavity in your head somewhere, so if that's the only thing that's on the multiple choice, you're ready for it. All right. Other features on the inside, that's the medullary cavity. Up here, especially at the ends of the long bones, you'll see what's called trabicular bone or spongy bone. I have to remember to make this wide enough so you can see it because my camera resolution isn't that good. So spongy bone is at the ends of the long bones. Another thing you might want to know about spongy bone is um, inside of the spongy bone is where you find red bone marrow. And in the medullary cavity that we mentioned a second ago, this is where you find yellow bone marrow. And you might remember from my introduction that red bone marrow is where blood cells come from. The majority of cells that we find in blood are red blood cells. So the red bone marrow literally looks red, or at least a dark. If the animal's dead, it's going to look just kind of a dark, rusty colored. Um, the yellow bone marrow contains fat. And in humans, quite often, fat tissue looks yellow, so it would look yellow in here. So we get epiphysis, diaphysis, spongy bone, medullary cavity. Um, you will often see holes that go into the bone, and I'm not sure how to represent this here, maybe like this. And if it's a living bone, there'll be a blood vessel coming out of it. Maybe I'll represent that as red and squeaky. Nutrient foramen is what we call these. Oops. Spelling nutrient wrong. Spelling it wrong again.
Foramen is a word that you need to know. Foramen just means a hole in a bone. Sometimes these foramen are quite large. Um, the magnum foramen or foramen magnum in the base of the skull that the spinal cord goes through, for example. In this case, nutrient foramen are pretty small. I'll give you one example of where you can find nutrient foramen on the mandible. Right up front towards the chin, you'll find the mandibular foramen. These two holes on the sides of the jaw, like in these locations, and you'll see blood vessels going in and nerves going in there. So nutrient foramen. Um, at the ends of the long bone, and I'll represent this in blue, there's going to be cartilage. This cartilage is at the end of the long bones so that where the bones come together and make joints, we have good cartilage which helps the joint move more smoothly. And this cartilage is called articular cartilage. Articular cartilage. Um, other things we should be able to label here. There's a tissue that covers the outside of the bone. And I'll just put the arrow to the very outside of the bone. Um, and here I was trying to represent it being peeled off maybe a little bit. That's called periosteum. Periosteum. And lining the inside of the medullary cavity, you'll have endosteum. So I'll put my arrow right up against that wall of the inside of the medullary cavity. Um, compact bone, I should have talked about that when I talked about spongy bone. This area here, especially along the diaphysis of a long bone, is compact bone. Right about here. Where should I put this? I guess I'll put it right under spongy bone. Compact bone all along inside of here. In a growing bone, um, quite often you'll see a line, well in a growing bone you will see lines, and those lines are growth plates. It's where the animal's bones are getting longer, expanding. <clears throat> so they're expansion points along the bone. And in an adult individual, you may still see these lines if it hasn't been too long since they were growing. But in an elderly person, for example, you probably wouldn't be able to make out these epiphyseal lines. Um, and just as a reminder, epiphyseal line, you could also call it growth plate. I know in the histology chapter, when you looked at that slide um, that showed um, white fibrocartilage. There was a growth plate in that slide. Kind of cool to look at when you see it. Um, that epiphyseal line, the type of cartilage that's there is hyaline cartilage, but it looks a bit different than the type of cartilage you see out here, which is also hyaline cartilage. The reason is in the epiphyseal um, plate or the growth plate, because the bone's growing, those chondrocytes are multiplying and making stacks of cells, so it looks different at the gro growth plate. I think that's all of the terms you need, and I apologize for my mess. I highly recommend going to the text and grabbing the picture out of there, um, and I can give you blanks. I can print out a blank image for you. Maybe I'll put one up on the web. But those are all the major terms you should know for the long bone. Again, and as always, if you have any questions, please email, call, let me know. Thanks for paying attention.